I finally received my 2024 Fun Days box of fun in the mail. This year, Funko has partnered up with EQL, where you can enter a random drawing to pay $105 per box. I've done it a few times now, most recently the Surprise Pop box, where Funko did pretty good deals for the $20. I had no idea how good the odds would be at this time, so I entered all four and ended up getting three of the four boxes. We have the Proto Pirates, the Crown Krakens, and Pop Bucklers. Did not get the Blacklight Buccaneers box, but I'm happy to secure these ones. Inside of these boxes, we get one mascot, one Funko Soda, one Wackly Wobbler, one Biddy Pack Pop 4 Pack, and three Freddy Funko Pops. I'm mainly in it for the Freddies like most people, but I've looked at the list that Display Geek has on their website. There is a show version with even rarer exclusives that you can pick up if you're at San Diego Comic Con. I'll probably try and hunt for the one piece of Roger Pop. But these are the online exclusives, so this is what we can get inside these boxes today. No idea which pops are in which box, but I'm hoping for the 5000 Western Kenny, the 3000 Morty, or the 1500 Glow in the Dark Morty. That would be amazing. Probably my number one pop that I want. The 1500 Frodo Baggins, but the 500 piece Metallic Penguin and 500 piece Blacklight Two Face would also be big hitters just for my taste personally. The sodas can be whatever. I'm just excited to see but let's open them yeah the planes are insane here but here's a look at the artwork on the box it actually looks pretty cool and you can even see there's a little push out thing so when you open the box you can uh, pull the uh the sail down <laughs> that's what i was looking for but yeah here's a look at the back if you wanted to take a look at that it's actually pretty well made this box is definitely pretty nice i mean shout out to them i want the pops to be uh, secured for sure, not damaged, but we'll see because sometimes the uh, soda could be in a spot that damages the pops or something like that. So let's take a look at the layout. I have no idea what to expect. Ahoy mateys and oh my gosh, okay, there's pops right there. I'm not even going to look. I want it to be a surprise. You guys can look. I'm looking up, I swear. I don't know what it says. <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll get the soda right here. And the first one we got is the Pirate Proto Blacklight Soda. That's cool, I guess. And I like how Proto's on the box. The same with Franny. And here is our Funko Wobbler. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. We are going to take out a different pop instead. This pop. Nope, nope. Okay, we got something else. We got the Biddy Pops. The 4-1 Fan Fantastic Voyage. Just the mascots on that i don't know if it's the same for each one i guess we'll find out soon and the first one we got is freddie funko as marty mcfly okay this is actually so sick i'm down with this one for sure 1500 piece online exclusive as you can see right there on the front this is a good looking pop i am really really happy with this one for sure a little bit of corner damage but it's okay no creases on the back which is what i like to see the most and yeah not too bad at all i'm happy with this that's a very very good first one let's put him to the side let's grab the next pop and it is the metallic marvin the martian 1000 piece okay when it comes to um rarity i think we're doing a pretty pretty good for these boxes oh my gosh okay I like, oh, is there a crate? No, there's not. There's nothing. These are in good shape. Space Jam on the back. Nice. This is a good look. The metallic actually looks really, really nice on the inside. It's a little bit easier to tell in person, but this is a good looking pop as well. I want to take a look at the Back to the Future back. I wasn't even paying attention the first time. Oh my gosh, that is clean. Okay, yeah, this box is pretty solid. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. Get this pop. Oh, and this is a proto pirate. Oh, okay, wait. So that's all the pops we get. I thought we totally got one more inside. Okay, so we only get three pops. I thought I didn't realize the mascot counted as one. Okay, that's my bad on the intro. Proto pirates, a uh, limited time edition, online edition. Pretty clean looking pop as well. I like the uh, artwork and the Proto Pirates logo. That looks sick. Looks exactly like a baseball team. I like that. Looks really, really good. Yeah, that's a good looking mascot as well. Okay, let's take a look at the Wobbler. Um, I believe, okay, yeah, this is probably going to be the same one in every single box. Freddy Funko with Proto. I mean, I'm happy Proto is included, but Wackly Wobbler, it's not the thing I'm chasing really. If you want to look at the inside of the box after that, we got some of our mascots in there that you can cut out. That's pretty cool. 
Just kidding, there is all four of them if you lift the cardboard up that you can place, I guess, on the box or something. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Let's open up the next two. Moving some stuff out of the way, let's just, let's just take a look in the inside. There it is. And this first one is, in fact, Freddy Funko as, <gasps> Yes, it's Morty, and it's the glow-in-the-dark one. This is the number one one I wanted. Let's go. This is sick. The glow-in-the-dark, you can really see right there. I guess we can test that in a second at the end of the video. This will be really cool to check out. Rick and Morty, let's go. This is definitely the number one pop I want. This one is working out so well. I am so happy. This is awesome. We got Freddy Funko as Captain Hook as our next one. A 3,500 piece, our biggest one so far. That's crazy. Not too bad. This is probably one that I uh, will personally not keep, but the other ones are all going in the collection so far. Really good condition on that one as well. And then the last one is the Crown Kraken mascot. This is a good looking pop too. Oh my gosh. The details on these ones are really, I like these a lot. I like the look of the boxes as a chest. These are mascots are probably some of my favorite mascots they've done in a while to be honest. Okay, we are got one more. Let's check everything else. We got, yep, once again, Freddy Funko with Proto, the same wacky wobbler. Our soda this time is Pirate Proto 1000. Yeah, what is the piece count? That's a 500 piece, and this one is a 1000, but this one actually looks pretty cool too. I like him. He's like a green tint on this one. Actually kind of looks like a, a real prototype, which is kind of funny. And then we are Fantastic Voyage. Okay, so it is the same four pack for Itty Pops every single time. Now I can confirm that. Glad to see that. And then a little bit of tissue and more of the cardboard. And that ends our second box. I don't even know if I care anymore. I got like pretty much everything that I wanted. So uh, let's just take a look. We're going to do this one blind. I'm looking up. I'm going to try and... Okay, we'll do that one in a sec. We'll do a Proto Soda. Pirate Proto 3000 piece, so a little bit more of a common one. Not too bad. Okay, I guess we got pretty lucky on the first two, to be honest. Wow, there are some boxes that are definitely way better than others, in my opinion. Fantastic Voyage, Itty Bitties, and then I want to try and get the Wacky Wobbler out just to get it out. But it's really, really hard. Okay, there we go. Once again, our third and final, Freddy Funko with Proto. And now okay more stuff and okay i grabbed the wrong side but we will look at freddy funko as conductor 2000 piece okay i don't even know what this is from schoolhouse rock oh that is something that i have not seen before but pretty cool pop okay not mad i guess let's get our uh, mascot next kind of just hit him right there. there's a little bit of damage on this one we got pop bucklers okay this one is sick too though the shark is awesome. He's got even like a little crown on his pirate hat. Yeah, the pops in these look so, so good. We got his logo on the back. Pop, bucklers. Oh, wait, let's take a look at the crown krakens. That one's pretty cool. I gotta say, the proto pirates one is probably my favorite little mascot thing. The kraken's so cute with the knife. All of them are cute, let's be honest. They're great. I kind of like them. And our last pop, though, is... Freddy Funko as West. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I did not, like, open them early. I, know, I noticed they didn't have tape on them. Now, like, uh, you just open them like this. Oh my gosh, but we actually got, like, everything I named. I'm not even kidding. That was not planned, I swear. I swear. 5,000 piece. I mean, there is a rare version in the San Diego Comic-Con one that's pretty cool, but I'll take this one. We got the Barbie movie logo on the back. That's sick. I'm excited. Ryan Gosling. If I, if I actually could, maybe that pop. No, no, no the two-pack for sure. Is that everything? Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, I just checked the list again real quick. And I have to say, other than the Frodo Baggins, I pretty much got everything I wanted. I mean, asking for those 500-piece ones is a lot. The highest one we got, is, or lowest one we got, is 1,000-piece as the Marvin the Martian metallic one. That one's a pretty good-looking pop. I'm, a, I'm pretty excited about that. The two that I don't specifically am interested in is the Conductor and Hook. But the Morty Western Ken, and I didn't realize how bad I wanted the Morty McFly until I got it. Those three are just spectacular in my opinion. And as uh, yeah, those four are going in the collection. So will the mascots. And uh, you know what, we'll probably end up getting rid of a few of the uh, 
Wacky Wobblers, and 4-Bits. I did collect a little bit of the Star Wars ones, but the sodas are really cool. I like those a lot. I do apologize. I seem to have misplaced my black light, so I'm not going to be able to show off the glow today. But you can kind of tell, especially next to the 3,000-piece uh, Freddy as Morty, uh, which one is, or which parts of it glows in the, the dark. Literally right when I was about to upload this, I found the black light. So I'm going to take a look at this Freddy Funko as Morty. And you can already see how good this pop looks. Look at that glow. Look at that glow. Dude, it looks so good. It's on his arms too. Oh my gosh, the head just in real life, it's literally just as bright. We can mess with the ISO a little bit so you guys can kind of see. If this is with a little bit of light, yeah, the glow is just so good on this pop. We're at 2500 ISO, we'll go up pretty high now. Oh my gosh, so it's like pretty dark in here, so I don't know how there's so much light. That looks so good. Wow. This pop is absolutely incredible. This, there is, I also noticed there's a Freddy Funko as Rick, a previous um, exclusive pop from uh, some type of Freddy Funko event, glow in the dark as well. So I think I'm gonna go hunt for that one as well. I also wanted to put it real quick on the opposite spectrum, 400 ISO, so it's like pretty dark. Wow, it just looks, this pop really does do a great job. Changing it a little bit back to like 800 ISO. Yeah, this pop is so sick. Highly recommend picking up this. I gotta get I gotta get the Rick. This Morty is too cool. I gotta get the Rick now. You get a lot of goodies. You definitely get your money's worth, in my opinion. I'm again, I think we hit good for my personal taste. So I'll take it. If you want to check out what last year's looked like, I did open some 2023 Camp Fun Days boxes. Same exact concept. You get some mascots and you get some Freddy Funkos. We didn't get any of the four bitty pops or uh, we know we did get a wacky wall, but that was kind of cool as well. But I'm excited that Proto and Franny are a little bit more parts of these too it's pretty exciting to see those ones introduced as well but yeah that does sum up today's video hope you guys enjoy let me know what you guys got in the comments down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye